Hi, thanks so much for joining me. So if you're like me and you really, really love illustrated books like picture books, this video is for you. Um, I'm showing today 10 picture books that I don't think I've ever shared. I possibly may have, but I'm not, I don't think so. I'm actually going to link my other picture book videos. I have one that's um, one of my favorite videos. It's like beautiful picture books from my collection. I'm going to link that one. And then, yeah, so today I have a few new books from the library because I just want to make a picture book video. I think these picture books would be great for all ages if you um, are an adult or if you're looking for a read aloud, I think they'd be great. So this one is Extra Yarn by Mac Barnett, illustrated by John Classen. This one's all about this little girl who has like a lot of fun knitting. And she, it's like one cold afternoon in a cold little town where everywhere you looked was either white, the white of snow or the black of soot from chimneys. Annabelle found a box filled with yarn of every color. So she just like knits and knits and knits and she ends up knitting uh, buildings, which is really fun. And it's like she made jumpers for things that didn't even wear jumpers. So very similar to this author and illustrator who John Classen's also a writer. Both of them write a lot of whimsical, kind of funny, interesting books. And this one's no different. It's one of my favorites. And yeah, so it's just really fun. And I think it's a great option for many different ages. And it's beautiful. That's my first one. Sorry if the light's changing, you guys. It's getting dark because it's close to the afternoon. But okay, this is A Bad Case of the Stripes by David Shannon. So this one's a little bit of an older one. Um, and it is all about this little girl who does not want to eat lima beans because all of her friends don't like lima beans. So she doesn't want to be looked at as different. So she refuses to eat them even though because she wants to fit in. And she's always worried about what other people thought of her. So it's the first day of school and she was fretting more than usual. She couldn't decide what to wear. So many people to impress. She tried on 42 outfits, but none seemed quite right. She looked in the mirror and then she screamed. So it's very interesting, the concept of this book, the beginning of this book about like, you know, like being who you are. And it's, it's very hard thing when you when you care because like a lot of people do, including myself, especially children who are very impressionable about what other people think. And so I love the message of this book and the, anim the illustrations are phenomenal. They almost all just look like, look like mini paintings. The illustration is so realistic and I love the colors. Even the cover just grabs you in. This would think, I think would make a really good read aloud and just a very fun book for anyone. This one's more of an older book. This one's Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. This is the author, Judith V-I-O-R-S-T, illustrated by Ray Cruz. So this one has fun, um, well, cool, black and white illustrations. I love the black and white illustrations. And then what I love about this book is this kid, he's having a bad day. And I like how the author just lets him vent. He doesn't have people telling him, come get a hug or come, like, you should smile. Like, it's like letting it go like venting and complaining sometimes uh like me if you do it often <laughs> um it feels good to do and you know it's like he's having a bad day and he is not afraid to say so and um everyone has days like this if not weeks or months for me no i'm joking okay so um yeah and so i like how it just like lets him express himself this is really good for talking about like emotions and even as an adult like it's okay like to express yourself and things like that and everyone can relate love it this is another older one which i wasn't sure if i've shared but i want to share in this video this is caps for sale a tale of a peddler some monkeys and their monkey business uh, author illustrator e-s-p-h-y-r last name s-l-o-b-o-d-k-i-n-a this one's a classic i had this book when i was a kid i repurchased it for my daughter she's a fun whimsical book there's not really a super deep message it's just really fun how he loses these, he loses his caps and of course he runs into some naughty monkeys and it's just it's just fun i love the simplicity of the illustrations and it's just one of my favorites from childhood and i think it'd make a really good book for a lot of different people this is another a little bit older one but i never read it when i was a kid but it's a paper paperback princess uh, robert m-u-n-s-c-h is the author and then uh, illustrator 
Michael, M-A-R-T-C-H-E-N-K-O. I'm really bad at pronouncing names and I don't even try. So I'll just spell them um, in case anybody's listening and not watching. Okay, so this is a paper bag princess. Thank you to everyone who's watching, by the way. I really appreciate it. So this is all about like having confidence in yourself and like not being afraid to tell people how you feel. And if someone doesn't like you for who you are, then like let them go. Like they're not for you. And I love the message in this that it teaches kids and even adults is just to be yourself. And well, it's more like appreciating yourself for who you are and having bravery. And it's a really nice story and message. Okay, this is another old one, and then I have some newer ones, but this is not that the old ones aren't still great. The Story of Ferdinand, this is a classic. Um, author M-U-N-R-O, Leaf, and then drawings by Robert Lawson. So this is just a classic story, again, about like being yourself and like staying true to yourself. Ferdinand, he just wants to smell the flowers and have small moments. He doesn't want to be a bullfighter, so we shouldn't make him, ever, any bulls, especially him. And it's just a sweet little story with black and white illustrations, and I think everyone should read it. So check it out from your library if you haven't already. Um, I'm also, uh, I link everything in the description as I do in like all of my videos so you guys can copy and paste the titles and or look at the links if you're interested. But yeah, so this next one is from the library. Um, this one's called Strictly No Elephants. Here's the author, Lisa, M-A-N-T-C-H-E-V, and then illustrated by T-A-E-E-U-N-Y-O-O. -O. So this is all about, like, you know, this kid, he has a pet elephant, which, of course, is very silly, but this is a picture book, and we're going with it. Very whimsical, made for kids. Use your imagination. I think what's good about books like this is because, like, they're a metaphor for, like, people because his elephant isn't allowed in this place, and it's not fair. So he has to go through um, dealing with the fact that his elephant is being excluded. And what is he going to do about it? So, yeah. And the illustrations are cute. He already feels different. Um, the trouble with having a tiny elephant for a pet is that you never quite fit in. No one else has an elephant, as you can see. And, of course, he is excluded. And look how cute. This is so cute. He's excluded because he has his elephant. And so it's like the story of what he'll do um, about it. And I like how it's taking charge of your own life and like having confidence again in yourself in the sense that not everybody's going to like you or accept you, but sometimes you can do something about it and he takes charge. And I like that. And so it gives you like control and it's cute. Okay. So the next two books, I didn't know this when I started making this video, but then when I just organized the books for the video, I was like, wow, these are the same illustrator. This book is The Dead Bird by Margaret Wise Brown, and this is Gaston, and both are pictures by Christian Robinson. Let me start with this one. This is in my collection, then I'll do the last um, two, which are library books. This is a little bit of a darker book, but I still think, you know, it's written for kids because kids can handle these things. And this book is about, you know, death and grief, but also, again, taking control of it and how you can, like, kind of like step in and maybe make it a little bit easier to deal with because of something you something like feeling like you can do something about it and it's like so the bird was dead when the children found it so of course because of the title there's no secrets that they find a dead bird which is hard because i don't i don't like seeing stuff like this in real life which i do everyone does like if you're you know like outside you see like dead animals and things like that like i'm very sensitive i don't like seeing it but it happens of course in life and with just like animals you've never met like strangers even stranger animals are hard to see and so it's like you know what so it's like they're sad about this and it's like they decide to do something about it and so in case you never read it i'm not going to give it away you might guess but it's just like um you know it's it's just like a very interesting book that deals with emotions and also like i said with helping out in a situation that might feel hopeless. And I love it. I love books with dark, with deeper topics um, for all ages. Okay, so this is Gaston. It's um, Kelly, D-I-P-U-C-C-H-I-O is the author. And then like I mentioned, 
I think it's Christian Robinson. So this is Gaston. This is an, another fun book that a lot of different ages, I think this is a little bit more younger and whimsical, but I still think adults would like it for the illustrations. Look how beautiful, it just looks like a painting. And Gaston is, like look at the front page, it's like Mrs. Poodle admired her new puppies. Fifi, Fufu, Ooh La La, and Gaston. So look at Gaston, <laughs> like already you can, like he's different, he's not a poodle. They all look like these purebred, like just like their mom, poodles, and he's not. And so like you, like it's like why, <laughs> it's like how he deals with the fact that um, the circumstances leading up to why it's very whimsical, the plot, and it's very cute and very interesting. And it's just like, I think a lot of different people would love this book. And then there's another one in this series. I think the author wrote another book in this series. I think it's called Antoinette, which may be one of the puppies in this book. Uh, but yeah, so it's really nice. So the last one is not fiction. It's nonfiction, but it's very cool. And I think this would be an awesome book gift. If I can recheck this out when I'm, I plan to do a book gift video in the year, which I did last year. Um, I would definitely put this on that list. I think a lot of different, uh, different types of readers would like this book as a gift. It's Invisible Things, Andy J. Pizza, I don't know if it's pronounced pizza, or pizza, or pizza, and Sophie Miller. Um, okay, pick up your Invisible, Invisible Things spotting glasses here, wear me. It's very interactive, and it's very interesting about all the things that we don't see, but we feel, or smell, you know, all the invisible things. I love how it addresses the readers, welcome readers. I bet you've read books about all kinds of things I bet you've seen, like mice and pizza and books. You probably feel like you've seen it all, right? But no, you haven't. And it's like goes on to talk about all the invisible things that you can come across. Also has a heavy focus again on like emotions and feelings, which I think is awesome that all children need to read books like this and, and adults need to be seen and feel heard by knowing it's okay to express your emotions, but it's not just about emotions. Um, you know, it's just like, it's like kind of like very, like a smidge of science, science -y, but then very whimsical and just beautiful. The illustrations are phenomenal and quirky. And it's just a really awesome book about invisible things that we live with in our lives. So yeah, so that's my 10 interesting picture books for this video. I hope you found them as interesting as I do. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.